The player drives the music, how Hi-Fi Rush reinvented the Rockstar game. The game's original soundtrack was created by former Konami composer Shuichi Kobori, former Capcom composer Ryo Uritani, and Tango Gameworks sound designer Masatoshi Inagi. Hi-Fi Rush uses 10 licensed music tracks throughout the story, Lonely Boy by The Black Keys, One Million and The Perfect Drug by Nine Inch Nails, Free Radicals by The Flaming Lips, Inazawa Chainsaw by Number Girl, Fast As You Can by Fiona Apple, Invaders Must Die by The Prodigy, Wolfgang's Fifth Symphony by Wolfgang Gartner, Worrying by The Joy Formidable, and Honestly by Zwan. Bethesda Softworks also created an official Spotify playlist with most of these tracks. To avoid issues such as YouTube copyright strikes, the game includes an option to replace all licensed songs with similar original tracks performed by the band The Glass Pyramids. Hi-Fi Rush received generally favorable reviews, according to review aggregator Metacritic. Jordan Midler, from Video Games Chronicle, said that Hi-Fi Rush is oozing with style and confidence, although there are repetitive level design and some clunky platforming, scoring with a 4 out of a 5-star rating. Jesse Norris, from Xbox Era, praised the combat, calling it sublime, but can become difficult to read as the screen fills up with utter chaos, scoring it with 9.5 out of 10. Diego Arguello, from Polygon, called its animation gorgeous and jet set radio-esque art style vivid and arresting. Giovanni Colantonio, from Digital Trends, called it Tango Gameworks' most confident, stylish, and surprising project to date. On the other hand, Tyler Culp from PC Gamer found the game promising in its concept but ultimately average in the action genre, and thought its set list of music was limited and dated. The game reached 2 million players by March 2023. This unlikely rhythm action game was surprise released on Xbox Game Pass by the renowned horror studio Tango Gameworks earlier this year. It stars a deeply uncool and talentless young dude transformed into a rock god, and the game wants to have the same effect on you. Not only is the game a love letter to music, especially the rock genre and the idea of a rock star in general, it's also a way for players who are not musicians to experience the sort of performance high that one would get by playing music live, explains director John Johannes. You land your attacks and combos on the beat, using a cobbled-together scrap metal guitar as a weapon. While the gameplay is nothing like playing guitar or being in a band, the visceral feel of your attacks landing to the beat, to me it's a sideways take on what it feels to be in that trance state where you are one with the music says Johans. It's not an exaggeration to say that this game was driven by music, since at even a programming level, laughs audio director and composer Shuichi Kobori. When I made demos for the songs, I would construct them with their ups and downs of intensity, in line with a visual document provided by the director for the level they would be used in. Since the progression of the level and the progression of the music are intrinsically tied, I had to match the arrangement with the stage layout or gimmicks in the stage, constantly adding or adjusting sections. There were times where we specifically wanted to match something in the game to a phrase or riff from the music, so I had to channel a rhythm game mentality and arrange the song while playing the game to think of something that would match. For the cutscenes, the music needed to be seamlessly integrated without a pause to keep the tempo, explains Kobori. For that there was a lot of trial and error in making sure that the song would connect appropriately. We had to make it feel like what the player did, or the enemies were doing, added to the song to create a sort of unique jam session, says Kobori. This was a key component of the enjoyability of the game. Johans had it figured out from the start. I gave direction that the original music should feel like a backing band, with Chai, the player character as the lead in the song, making it their song. Specifically, with how they fight and the added flair that they add to the track by fighting to the music. In a way, the player drives the soundtrack.